So we're looking at an intermediate term bearish trade idea in crude oil futures. So this is the weekly chart of forward slash CL. We have harmonic families in here. That's a very large dominant 78 bar cycle that is divided into minor third cycles of 26 bars each. And you can see how each of these has shaped up the rising phase, peaking, declining phase of each of these minor cycles. So now we have broken below the cycle low support of that second minor third cycle, and also now uh, as of today broken below the cycle low support of that first minor uh, third cycle. But overall, this cycle has uh, the dominant cycle has just exhibited a lot of sideways price action. Now, however, we're getting into the declining phase of the dominant cycle as well as that last minor third cycle. So we're gonna have a lot of pressure on the downside as these energies are uh, pushing down. We do have a projection, it was down to 67.70, but we're already below that. So we'll have to lower this projection. This next one is down here at about 64.35. Uh, momentum is negative. Here's our reversal scout. That's this green and purple ribbon currently showing negative momentum conditions. Now we do have a cycle timing window out at the end of the year when crude oil could start looking better. Let's switch over to the daily chart. The average cycle length in here is 40 bars, and these cycles are divided into minor half cycles. So as Slim has uh, noted in here, this could be an early minor cycle low, or if we're able to get a bounce in here, this could be slightly late uh, minor cycle low. It has tried to move up. You can see the wicks on the tops of these candles, but it keeps getting sold. Our dominant cycle low was back here where you see this hammer candlestick um, and we have broken below that level. So if crude oil is able to get a bounce in here, then that would set up a good selling opportunity for a move back down into this timing window at the end of September. Beyond that, the next daily cycle is due to end in mid-November. So that is starting to line up with that weekly cycle timing window. Now, I do want to point out that crude oil has a tendency to sometimes move up very strongly in these rising phases, even out of a negatively configured cycle like this one. Negatively configured means it ends lower than where it began. In this case, it was much lower, but it moved up sharply, got to the 78.6% fib. This was a move up to the 78.6% fib, so was this. So this is something that I kept in mind when I did a video for our members that used an options expiration cycle out into the mid-October timeframe, 41 days to expiration. It was a bearish trade idea in line with the analysis that I just talked about here, but also protecting against the possibility of a strong bounce uh, coming out of this uh, cycle low. So please become an Ask Slim Level 3 or 4 member to check that video out.